Welcome to Twin Bridge Dairy Goats. We're glad you're here. It's about family, farm, and our girls. We're located in beautiful central Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Share our experiences, what we've learned, what we're still learning. It's about triumphs as well as failures. <laughs> they love me. It's not they the love easiest so thing much. you can do. There are always challenges, but it's the best life for us. <laughs> you, we believe you should learn something every day. We're Follow us on our journey. Happen. There's always something going on at the farm. So come along. This Good is morning, what friends. happened today. Here we are. Saturday morning. And this is what we did the first thing. <clears throat> this is our hay. This is just a prairie, prairie grass hay that the goats will eat through the winter. And um, while the pastures are dead and <sighs> 75 bales, we don't typically uh, bring in this much. This, this hay will last us about 12 months is what we're hoping. Uh, I did the calculations for last year and they're averaging about seven bales a month course in the summer spring and summer they're eating the and the the pastures but um seven bales a month we have 75 bales on this trailer like i said we don't typically bring in this much but um here in oklahoma it has been brutally hot with no rain price of hay has doubled and it's just gonna keep going up as it gets harder to find. So we contacted our farmer that uh, sells us the hay, our prairie hay, and bought the whole 75 bales. I think it's gonna be a rough year. Okay. Mulan is, oh yeah, look at there. That little boy is, let's see, February, March, April, May, June, July, five months old, four and a half months old. And she will let him nurse as much as she wants to. Hey, hey, the phone is not. Um, I've added Mulan back to the waiting pen. I'm going to dry her up. She's been in milk since the end of February. Been milking her since probably the middle of March. She's done really well, but the last uh, two weeks or so, she's dropped off her production. And yeah, there she goes. Dropped off her production to about a quart a day. And that just does not equal out to how much she's getting in uh, the dairy mix while on the stand and the um, alfalfa hay. So she's going to be dried up. Mulan, this is her sixth year kidding. It's hard to believe. That's hard to believe, but it is. And... Um, <laughs> That is just friendly play. They've been separated. And so they are just reacquainting themselves. And Myla here is making sure that she understands that she is herd queen. Myla is our dominant herd queen. And nobody has been able to change that. But these two are sisters. Oh yeah, ha ha, locked the gate, didn't I? Ha ha ha, I locked the gate. But anyways. <laughs> that is just a dominant act. Just to let her know, I am the boss. 
And Mulan understands that. Okay, back to milking. All right, so we've finished our milking and are enjoying a little bit of a cool morning. As cool as it can be with 100 degree temperatures coming, I guess. As soon as the sun breaks through that little cloud bank up there, it's going to warm up. And so we're just taking our time out here in the pen. Oh, Maggie, you look so pretty. Oh, oh you, you don't need to bite me. Myla here is, thinks that I'm her salt lick. She thinks I am too. <laughs> and Gracie, look at beautiful Gracie. Gracie is our our little doling or our doe that adopted the littles, Bell's littles uh, in January and just did a fantastic job. I know some of you uh, new viewers, new uh, subscribers have watched that video and it just makes me tear up every time every time it's just a beautiful little uh, moment where she just does what instincts tell her to do she took care of those littles and raised them up and they went to their new farms <laughs> and bell that is mulan rubbing on oh your the heel of your uh, boot is perfect for oh. scratching Nutmeg <clears throat> will be going over to Hanson Never Done Farms in the next uh, probably two to three weeks. Uh, she is uh, preparing for her to come over and be bred. Oh, I know, Maggie, you're just so beautiful. Yes, you are with your little moon spots. Yes. Maggie had quite the, what do you call it? Transformation. Transformation from uh, whenever we clipped her a couple weeks ago. She was just this beautiful caramel colored moon spotted little uh, doe. And once I clipped her, it revealed all of these spots. And now she's called a bazaar. Is that the correct pronunciation? <laughs> she, she's kind of my lap goat. She's kind of my lap goat right now. She really likes me. Yes, Maggie. Our little weather, Mulan and her little buckling. This is the only little buckling that we kept. And he has been weathered. So he is a great companion animal. Gabriella, not, yes, Gabriella is looking pretty fancy. She's looking pretty fancy with those ears. Yes, you are, girl. Yes, you are. Oh, be nice, Mulan. She's like she's not Chloe and her doling. And this girl right here has just turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful doling. Um, her ears could be a little bit better, but ears aren't milk. So she got a pass and stayed on farm. Everybody looks so good, Trim. But look at that. I am very happy with uh, what I'm seeing in the very beginnings. I know things change as they get older, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with her top line. I will probably take some pictures and get some more educated insight to how she is uh, maturing out. 
There's several Facebook uh, groups on confirmation and um, I am still learning, not, not ashamed to say that. I am still learning about confirmation. It's very intriguing to me. Our little, our little uh, black male kitten is doing great. You guys know that we sent him and his mama to be fixed. And they are healing nicely and doing great. I, he's under the trailer. He's under there. I don't know where his mom is at. But anyways, <sighs> this right here is work. Work, work. But thank goodness, Alec is here and is going to be helping us this morning. This is the area that we're going to keep them in. No longer are we going to be using that over there. The tarp idea is okay, but not ideal. So we have decided to clear off this section right here. This is where we're gonna stack all of our hay. We think we can get 75 bales in there. We're gonna take the gate off of this side and Vaughn and Louisiana will be able to get up in there if they need to, but you know, right now it's so hot and um, with no rain, they are sleeping in the yards where it's cooler. And of course, there's been no activity. I thought I saw just a little bit yesterday that she could probably be having a heat cycle, but I don't know, it didn't happen. And so it might be with the temperatures like they are, it might be next month before she actually has a heat cycle, but they are doing fine together and I'm content to leave them in this pen. Lincoln and Molly and Hope are all doing just fine over there. And so we are gonna let them stay right there until we bring in the new addition with an S. You guys know that we have in the past raised Cooney Coons, which I did enjoy, but got to be a little too much for us. And so we sent them to new farms, but we are going to be bringing in some butcher hogs. And we will, uh, they will be coming, I think the first week in August, and we will bring them in and raise them for butcher for our table. Oh, somebody's crying. Um, and they're gonna be over there in that far pen. Uh, there's two of them, one for us and one for our daughter and um, son. And, they will be on farm for probably seven months or so. Is that right? Six, seven months. Yeah. Love the idea of raising our own meat. Love that idea. It's proven to be a good thing for us. One and done, I guess. One and done. Oh, they need a drink. Probably need to fill that up, but I just added vinegar water to it or vinegar to it. So you guys know that um, I think I've mentioned it in a couple other videos that we add vinegar, um, apple cider vinegar to all of our watering systems, watering buckets, barrels for the goats, the chickens, the kitties, all of that is... Um, uh, good for them. Plus, it does help in some other areas. A wise tell from the from the old farmers. Well, if it's good <clears throat> enough for them, it's good enough for us. That's right. Hey, looky there! Looky there! We didn't have to go and wake him up this morning dressed and ready to go but looks like he's in his good clothes why would he be in his good clothes 
Oh, I know. I know. Anyways, guys, that's what's happening this morning on the farm. And the sun is about to break out of the, that cloud bank. And so we are going to wrap it up. <clears throat> sure do appreciate all of our new subscribers. I appreciate all your sweet comments. <clears throat> Glad you're enjoying the channel. You guys remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys are up to date on all the videos coming out. Chat later.